Last week, we got another update on the Fed balance sheet. Assets rose by $91.5 billion to a booming record of $8.45 trillion. And yet, the thing is, we didn't get the market reaction one has grown accustomed to expecting whenever hearing about an even bigger Fed balance sheet. Risk assets have made a habit of rallying on such news, but this time it was different. This time, such gestures of further assurances from the Fed just weren't enough to prevent investors from booking profits with stocks coming under intense pressure. The bigger focus right now is on the fact that the market just isn't buying into the idea the Fed can continue to maintain such ultra-accommodative policy in the face of rising inflationary pressures that may not be transitory. And all of this is happening at a time when the economic outlook is deteriorating both in the U.S. and abroad. The slowdown in China is another big weight on financial markets at the moment, and the sell-off we've seen in the price of iron ore has been equally disturbing. We think there is plenty of risk out there for things to get ugly still, and we recommend proceeding with caution, especially ahead of some critical FOMC event risk later this week. Key standouts on today's calendar come in the form of German producer prices, U.S. NHB housing, and the Canada general election. It's worth noting liquidity conditions have been thinner in Asia on this Monday with China and Japan markets closed. That's all for now.